Well, crap. I uh, probably waited too long in between these videos. Um, so here is where we were. Uh, you can see my Philips Hue hub right there. Here's a 2708. Uh, that was, I don't know, I mean, it's, it's not a big switch, but it'll do for what I need it to do for now. Um, I have a Ubiquiti wireless AP, uh, which is just literally just for our guest network here. Um, you can see the cables all coming in. I, I have not done cable management, uh, honestly. I mean, not like you can't tell. But, uh, there's the modem. And it all runs down to this, which is a R210. Uh, it doesn't have a Xenon, not that it needs it. Uh, it's running PFSense. And in the back, you can't really see, I guess, I mean, those four cables back there are hooked into a uh, Intel Pro 1000 card. I don't remember the exact model. Um, but PFSense automatically brought it up and it's configured uh, in such a way where you can see there's the four connections uh, from right to left. There's the WAN, uh, there's the LAN, there's my actual wireless which is being provided by this Netgear. And then uh, after that is the uh, guest uh, wireless or DMZ all on separate subnets with specific rules. Uh, I, I know I probably could have done VLANs, but especially with the uh, 2708, but I just didn't want to do it right now, so um, this is a really kind of ghetto setup. Um, over here is my Windows Media Center box. It actually used to be underneath the TV. The whole reason I'm doing this though is because I really want to have a TV in every room but I don't want to have equipment in every room, so the idea is, is that I set up all the networking, all the AV stuff, in this room. And uh, you can see there's an HDMI cable that runs out the back. It goes all the way up to there, which is a keystone jack for HDMI. And then the uh, HDMI cord runs back down and then back up into the attic. And then comes around. not very far to this. Um, I have, I don't have my USB keystone yet, so um, I'm just currently using it kind of like a extension cable. But we have Ethernet, we have HDMI, we have coax, and we will have a uh, USB just... And the USB is literally just for now, is just being used for my IR for the box. Uh, in the future, I plan to get some kind of IR repeater system. Uh, I ideally want it to run over HDMI using this uh, CEC data links. But for right now, I'm going. This is the first time it's all been powered on together, which is why it's literally just a mess. Um, I'm just trying to make sure it's all working, which it seems to be. Um, the idea is, is that I will have some kind of cooling. See, there's one UPS. Uh, I have another one outside that will eventually. Uh, well, out in the living room, that'll eventually come in here as well. Um, the idea is, is that I also want to put my Drobo, which is in there. It's an 8-bay Pro Drobo. Um, literally have everything that's a computer thrown there other than my personal desktop. Um, I plan on putting some more shelving up at some point. Um, I'm thinking a bar on either side of the wood and then have some interchangeable, you know, shelves I can choose the height for. Uh, the plywood goes all the way down to there and then under here is literally just storage. Uh, so I, I haven't quite decided how I want to do this because ideally I really want to have my Xbox, the PS4, you know, anything in here with an HDMI matrix all controlled via IR from each room. Um, I have two Harmony One remotes that I'm going to use. Anyway, um, I'll probably be doing this when I can. Um, you know, being in a new house is not exactly the the best time. Uh, it's very expensive uh, when you first move into a house. There's everything that you have to do. So I'm kind of just doing this in parts. Um, that's why I did the the TV right next to me. Um, 
let's see here. I actually have a wall mount right there, and the idea is that it's going to go on the wall. Um, I have not done the power yet. There's power down there. I need to run it from down there up to the, about the same level so I can wall mount the TV. Um, I kind of need a measure to make sure it'll fit the, the mount. Anyway, um, I'll probably try and do another video. That way I can put these all up at once. Uh, you know, maybe a little bit sooner than this one. Anyway, uh, catch you next time.